be with you all. Dear friends, today we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. By celebrating Christ's baptism, we as well celebrate our own baptism. We do celebrate our birthdays, but not the day of our baptism. And oftentimes, we don't even remember the day we are baptized. So, we know that it is through baptism that we became children of God, brothers and sisters of Christ. And by baptism, we became incarnated in The question I have to ask myself, you ask yourself is, how far have I been living my baptismal commitment? To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You we are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the Almighty and ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and Holy Spirit, may always be pleasing to you. We ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and asks of Riley is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites. And he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What had happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, 
after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Jesus approaching him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I read in from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what he proclaimed. One mighty then I coming after me and I warned him to stop the losing the thorns of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee. He was baptized by Jordan, by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens begin to open and the Spirit, like a dove, descended upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved son, with you I am be will please him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How is he, my brothers and sisters? Good morning, everybody. It's be beautiful and present this morning, being the church, beginning with the day to celebrate today, the baptism of the Lord. The day we celebrate also, like Father said, our baptism and remember that we got good Christians, Catholics, they believe today the scriptures, the prophet Isaiah, the other apostles talking about love, the hope, the sea, the Savior, the Jesus, our Lord. The Isaiah, the most messianic book that we read in, he proclaimed when he Jesus come, it will be given to us the freedom, give it to us the peace, give it to us the belief, and show us that God is with us regardless in what situation and what occasion, how we are, he always with us to talk to tell us to be of free all nations, to open the blinds, to open, to bring out the prison for the confinement, and from the dawn, those who live in darkness. Prophet Isaiah was thinking when he was inspired by Holy Spirit, writing, talking about you and me and I and the whole world. Then he announced and be complete as John's. 
when he baptized the Lord. All the promises in God is accomplished in Jesus Christ, the Savior to us. This morning, we celebrated, remember that Christ born in us heart in the Christmas. Now is the how that we're going to keep the God in us, in us heart. Where's the way that I can keep that promise for the salvation? How I can keep the promise of God live in your heart and my heart? That's the way to keep in those who need, which we can proclaim to those outside who need. They can come in today to the church. They can see us to the wayside, but also it's for proclaim the good news that what we will receive that we can spend and to give it to the others. The blessings that we receive, the special moments, the hard moments when we, have, we lost the faith or someone lost the faith, we can talk to him, we can preach, we can say, Jesus life, Jesus love you, Jesus love. They can teach us how we can live with that spirit. After that baptism, the minister of the Lord starts. He starts freeing people who was for the darkness, the people who are suffering, the people who need the God in our lives. Today, we also remember we was baptizing as a children. When the priest or deacon do the three signals in the head, Christ, a king, Christ, a prophet, and Christ, a priest. And because we belong to God, we're supposed to listen his voice when he called us to participate. When the priest consecrate the body and blood of Jesus Christ, we participated in that consecration. We participated as a holy people. And that's what we're supposed to proclaim and share with the others, the real presence of God. When he also said to us, Christ, as a king, the son of God, we recognize as the Lord in your life, my life, and we recognize all the time that God is good, He is good all the times. And those phrases that we say, we're supposed to keep in us our heart. And mention it in those days, especially when we need to mention, to recognize ourselves that we need God in my life, in your life, and that someone else needs, we can recognize and we can tell them that He is the good, it's always in our lives. We're supposed to be sons of God, prophets, kings, prophet and priest. Prophet because everyone here and outside, we allow to preach the gospel of, because he teach us the good. He teach us to do the good to everyone, to everyone. And this is the best place to be at the beginning. Recognize him when he does his presence in the Eucharist. When he looking at you, your families, your son, your daughters. When he opens our arms and gives to us the blessing. And we prepare, not just today, the whole year. And we also want to prepare for Lent. But we got to prepare, live what the scriptures say to us. Reading at home, the scriptures, preaching to everyone. Don't be like it, I'm afraid to talk about Jesus. Why? We cannot be afraid. We're supposed to keep and give what we receive, the blessings to everyone. Teaching our children to joy to the other ones, to tell them, we come to the church to praise God. He's the only one. You tell me to who we're going to go again to ask you something if it's not God. He's the only one. We have it in our hearts 
we, everything is possible. Without him, nothing is will possible. If we want to be as the one he wants to give us, the prophets, he gives you the word to explain, to teach the Lord, the Lord, to teach how we be Christians, Catholics, joyful, pray, rosary home, practice our faith. For that practice, we got to show up to us and we can transmit it. Not just to you like you like it. No, those two, they don't like you or you don't like us. That's the compromise. Israel, show us the Christ. He will come to the world. He will go in our hearts. And now we want to show the rest of the world the Christ, the King, the Prophet, the Lord is with us always to believe, to believe in God. Must believe to practice the faith. They say, John says to him, and he says in the gospel, I'm not worthy to stop and loosen the thorns he sent us. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with your Holy Spirit. How many times we ask the Lord, give me strength, Holy Spirit. I need something to do in my life. Please come to me. Come to me, Holy Spirit. And those decisions that I make is because you will approve to your Holy Spirit that that's be good for you. And I, because sometimes... We do things without him. And when we think that everything's convenient, it's good for us, when he has plans for us, different. His plans are different than our plans because he's perfect. And when he's perfect, he decides how many times we call us to the service. As a clergy, we, as a holy people, as he called them for vocations, to send them to serve the church, not just see it, serve. Serve, that's the key to serve. Remember, my brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God, he will say to us what we do for the others. What we do for the others, what I'm doing in my life and your life, that's what we're supposed to remember. We love, we always love God. We never do things, no pressures. Or because of something, no, because you love God. That's the way and that's the key when we like him, when we need him in our lives. That's when he comes to us to teach him what the scripture says, to liberate, to be free, to love God, to serve him, to be in the kingdom when he cut us, when he cut us, the day he cut us. Many time we got to work to be his love God, to love him, to serve him. We also, we had remembered when the son or the mother to our Virgin Mary, if he's only one, pray for us. They remember that she is with us too. And that she always say, do what he say, do as he say. She always, she present God in our lives. She is the one who say yes first and teach us to we say yes to the gospel. We can change our lives if we believe always and change the other ones. But I can change it when we got hearts on our heart and my life changed. That conversion can change somebody else because first we chose to serve him. So when he's in our lives, we can do the things he's supposed to do and love God in name of the God to serve him. God is good all the time. Amen.
understand and protect our faith. I believe in one God. Ascended into heaven. Made children of God by baptism, we raise up our prayers in confidence. That all the baptized live in justice and united, faithful to the gospel call, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the governments, the governments and liars work for the just love and the discrimination due to race, nationality, or economic class, let us pray to the Lord. Thou who have suffered the destruction of war, quickly find the lasting peace offered by gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayers. That young people who have stayed from God's path, finding Jesus a friend who comforts and guides them, let us pray to the Lord. That the members of this faith community Deep up a day by this promise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For living and deceived members of the same Martin society, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the rest in peace of Berta Delgado in nine months, Luis Jean Lauren, for Miriam, special need for Miriam Camacho and Carlos Tempawe. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer. For also Alexandra Parra, feel better. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And to rest in peace, oh my daughter, so Angela Maria Parra, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our Amen. prayer. May we now add our own private intention. God of justice and compassion, help us to be worthy servants, bringing justice and unity among your people. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. For the glory of his name, for the glory of the holy church. For our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Accept, O oh Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is very right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of Jordan, you reveal the signs and wonders of a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might Come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by the Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. <laughs> They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our bishop, and all the clergy and your entire people.
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver Amen. us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are all yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be refreshed. good news you've been invited no matter what others may say your darkest sins will be forgiven you will always have a place at the table of grace the cross never empty the plates always full To come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome at the table of grace. At the table of grace, the cups never empty, the 
plate's always full and it's never too late to come and be filled with love never ending you're always welcome at the table of grace so come you we and heavy hearted don't try to hide your earthly scars for in his eyes we all are equal don't be afraid come as you are at the table of grace the cups never empty the plate's always full and it's never too to come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome at the table of grace. At the table of grace, the cup's never empty. The plate's always full, and it's never too late to come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome. The table of grace. So let the first become the last. Let the poor put kings to shame. Their willing hearts will be the treasure by the power of Jesus' name. At the table of grace, the cup's never empty. The plate's always full, and it's never too late to come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome at the table of grace. At the table of grace, the cup's never empty. The plate's always and it's never too late to come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome at the table of grace. Hear the good news, you've been invited. No matter what others may say. Your darkest sins will be forgiven. You will always have a place at the table of grace. The cup's never empty. The plate's always full. And it's never too late to come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome. The table of grace, at the table of grace, the cups never empty, the plates always full, and it's never too late to come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome at the table of grace, at the table of grace, the cups never. The plate's always full, and it's never too late to come and be filled with love never ending. You're always welcome at the table of grace.
Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God, and happy Sunday to you all. You too, Father. When Jesus comes to be baptized, he lays the Yeah.